it back, huh? During the commercial break, JD comes over to me and says, Oh, you had a colonic irrigation yesterday? They're great. Oh, no. <laughs> you gotta wonder what kind of personal life this guy has. Right? Oh, they're the highlight of my weekend. <laughs> well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Our first guest is already a superstar. She sings, she acts, and she's only 17. I point this out for you, Neville. Don't get up. <laughs> she's uh, released her third CD and can also be seen in The Princess Diaries and stars in A Walk to Remember, which I saw three weeks ago. Oh, for real. Lovely, touching uh, film. Tugs at the old heartstrings. Good. Tugs at the old heartstrings if you have one. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I'm the tin man. <laughs> Which one didn't have the heart? The lion? Um, I should know this. Hold on. Yeah. It was a tin man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, you don't know what I'm talking about. You know, let's, let's pretend we're talking about the whiz. Now tell me. Oh. <laughs> no, it was tin man. <laughs> All right. The whiz. Yeah. She, uh, as I said, she <laughs> stars in a walk to remember. Please welcome Mandy Moore. <laughs> I watched you on Canada AM today. I must say you're a very poised young lady. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're only 17. I'm 17. Yeah, and you, you go to high school. I do. Well, I go through correspondence. That's how I complete my oh, schoolwork. Oh, yeah, you do it from home. You, mm -hmm. you do the correspondence. Well, on the road, course. yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, because I just can't see you going to a building. You can't you know see I mean? me going to a oh, building? Oh, getting up every morning, putting on your little I knapsack. did, I did. I, I actually left halfway through my freshman year of high school. Really? To kind of begin all of this, yeah. Oh, was there some kind of problem? or? <laughs> No, I, I actually left at 14 to go record my first album, oh, yeah. which was kind yeah. of crazy. Kind of a slow starter, huh? I was 12. Really? Well, yeah. yeah, I and was I kind of I recorded my slow. first album. By the way, it's still available. I'll check it out. There's only one do. copy. <laughs> they, they felt it wasn't right for mass consumption. It's okay. Now, you're also known as the National Anthem Girl. Yes. I, I had no idea you knew O Canada. That's wonderful. <laughs> you get so um, few guests. You know what? I'm, I'm from Orlando, and around Orlando, I was kind of known Ooh, as the yeah. National Anthem Girl. We don't really do a lot of research around here. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I thought it. you were from Orono. That's what I was oh, told today. Which close. It's just outside Oshawa. And it's very close to here. <laughs> I, I had no um, idea. I'm quite embarrassed now. I'm quite embarrassed. It's okay. Right. Um, so, yeah, I was so known as the So you weren't into national... Sweet Hereafter? I'm sorry? Sweet Hereafter. Sweet hereafter. Yeah. Boy, we really got it wrong today. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you to come back tomorrow, Mandy. Perfect. I'll just um, right? came no, no, in what how is I this? I'm kidding, of course. What is this national anthem? The national anthem, I, I I guess it was a way I kind of started singing. I did a lot of musical theater, community theater, and I sang the national anthem at like every sporting event from the smallest to like my high school football games to like arena. They went right out to center field and did it in front of everybody? Absolutely. I did wow. it at my homecoming high school football game. It was very, very weird. Yeah. 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 Now, it's one of those songs that, uh, you know, it's like the Lord's Prayer. I can't imagine having to do it on your own. You know what I mean? It's, and, it's and our, our national, and it covers such a wide range of notes, oh, yeah. too. It's a really hard song to sing, and yeah. you could forget the words really easily. So yeah. I was always and, freaked out. And of course, out we all know that. what happens then. The entire crowd turns on you and your Oh, absolutely. Is over. Like that. And your yeah. career's over. Yeah. Now, did your parents uh, encourage you to do this? Were they for it? Or, um, no, they... Or are they communists? Which, <laughs> they, they were for it. They were very supportive of me. I mean, yeah. I was a geek. I was totally into it. I had my American flag dress, yeah. hair bows. Like, yeah. I went the whole nine yards. Yeah. You know, I always love I it ten. when world-class beauties say they were geeks. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not still, But I'm still very geeky now. I know, but I mean, you're a world-class beauty. If you, if you were... I'm a world-class beauty? Yeah. Well, yeah, I would No say one's so. ever said that before. Well, Thank you know, you. I, I get around a lot, too, I'll tell you that. Wow. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. I've been, uh, I guess it would be uh, safe to say that I've been everywhere. Wow. All around the world. Everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never been to space where I would have called you an out-of-this-world beauty. Wow. But uh, there you go. you're quite stunning. Thank you. And very I mean much. that in the most appropriate manner because, as I said <laughs> at the top of this interview, you're 17. I'll be 18 next month. I'm very excited. You'll be 18 next month? Well, 18. you come back and the compliments will really be flying. Okay, perfect. I'll look I'll, forward I'll to that. that day. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Now you had, uh, you have, I guess, your own, your own show on MTV, the Mandy Moore Show. I, uh, I work at MTV. I'm an employee of MTV back in the States, and uh, uh, yeah, I had my own show on yeah. for two summers. It was quite odd. Why odd? Because there were a lot of topics that I was a little uncomfortable about. We had this one topic called, oh, who's that hottie? Yeah. Who's that hottie? <laughs> I see someone pointing to someone in the audience. Yeah. Um. Well, that's Neville pointing at his wife. He's trying to... <laughs> 
trying to get back in her good books. Ah. Yeah. Right. Oh, who's that hottie? Who's that hottie? And we, right. we found like models that were on billboards and, and in like campaigns and magazines and so on and so forth and kind mm -hmm. of brought them on the show and learned about them. But it was just a weird interaction between me and them. But nonetheless, I love being part of the MTV family and kind of being able to show your personality uh, by hosting yeah. a show, I guess. Yeah. Now, you, uh, I, I saw you walk to remember you did. a month ago. Yeah. Wow, thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's, it's almost as though I anticipated your arrival. But... Almost. I did happen to go in. Uh, I happened to go into a Saturday afternoon matinee, and a matinee. Uh, I walked into it and I saw it and I paid for my ticket and everything. It was uh, well. I appreciate that. Well, it was nine bucks. Nine bucks. Yeah. That's, normally, that's a lot of money. Normally, I don't put that kind of dough into a guest, but uh, <laughs> I, I somehow I had a I'll good feeling. I'll reimburse you. All right, all right. No, no you problem. don't have to. I, I found it quite entertaining. Thank you. Because normally I go to these uh, teen flicks incognito with my baseball cap on backwards <laughs> and pants that are four sizes too big. But, so you blend right in. Yeah, this, time I, this time I walked right in as me and uh, took my chances. And I must say, uh, I was quite impressed because uh, it, it almost reminded me of uh, Love Story. It's, it's very sad. Uh, people have kind of ending. made that comparison that, yeah, it's yeah. kind of a, a, a 2002 version. But you're a very religious girl, so let's call it like story. I think that's what we had to call it. Likes, exactly. It's yeah, not you, a You love play story. a very religious young lady. I do. I play a very spiritual girl. I play the daughter of a Southern Baptist minister in a right. small town in North Carolina. It's actually based on the book by Nicholas Sparks, which I'm sure a lot of people out there have read. It was one of my favorite books before mm. I heard anything about the film. So yeah. very proud to be a part of it, and thank you so much for going to see it. I appreciate that. Well, it was that. my pleasure, and it uh, worked out really well, because otherwise I would have had to cram it in today. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not enough time in a day. I, I'm a I understand. Busy guy to cram something in in one day. Now you also are uh, currently filming a, a new one. I am about to start filming uh, a movie in Vancouver with Elijah Wood. An hey, he's the kid film. from uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. That's um, right. It's called Try Seventeen. I'm mm -hmm. very excited. It's a great script, but it's an independent, so I'm not quite sure when it's going to come out. Right? Could uh, independent? It could never that... come out. Yeah. <laughs> you right. never know. <laughs> but it's only a month's worth of work, so it's it's really exciting. I yeah. can't believe it. No, you know, I've been talking to you about a lot of things, but I pride myself on the hard questions. Okay. Uh, boyfriend? You got a boyfriend? I just got out of my first serious relationship. My parents are rejoicing about that. Well, no point in asking how that went. Um, it, uh, it was a year and a half long relationship. I was actually dating um, a boy. He was an actor on a show called That Sunday Show. And, right. Uh, Fez. Fez, the foreign yeah. exchange student. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but alas, no more. Yeah. Um, and I'm a single girl and I'm very happy. I'm 17, almost 18. I have the rest of my life ahead of me to date, so I'm happy. Well, you seem pretty good about it. Yeah. He, uh, we called him today. He wasn't too happy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Uh -oh. He wasn't really as chipper about the whole thing as you are. I'm, I'm not going to go there. I'll just well, I'll leave tell that you, one untold. I, I, I can't really believe the guy's story. He told us he dumped you, but you seem pretty happy. You dumped him. My lip is Oh, zipped. come on. You dumped him. It was mutual. You want me to get him on the phone here? Because he had... Sure. He, he, well, it might be better if you just story. tell us. You just tell us uh, how it went. What was he, a cad? Was he a cad? He, no, it was, it was just... It was time to end the relationship. What do you mean? You got some kind of schedule thing? You got a time card? I don't know. <laughs> It was time. It was about time. You know, um, I, I was ready to move on. All right, good. Now, That's we'll, the most politically correct answer I can think I of like at this it. point. I like it. It You'll good. accept it. Thank yeah, well, you. Listen, we'll fudge it around in editing. It's going to look pretty Perfect. good. Perfect. Yeah. You're going to be a real character assassin by the time we're done with it. And what, what are you looking for in a man, just out of curiosity? I mean, honesty, sense of humor. Um... Guy with a watch who knows when it's over. <laughs> when it's time to call it quits. Thank you. He's very hard to find. Yeah, He's yeah. very hard to find. I, I kind of have a height thing, too, because I'm almost 5'10", so I like someone kind of... I know you like them short? So if if, if I had to go, no, no, no. If I had to go with one physical attribute or characteristic, it would have to be height. I, I, I'd like someone who's my height or taller. Tall guy? Tall, funny guy? Tall, funny guy. Yeah. yeah. Tall, funny well, guy? It might be a good time to point out I'm married. <laughs> but if those are your only two criteria, I'm in. Awesome. <laughs> Next time, I'll come back when I'm 18. Right, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that didn't happen. That's right. <laughs> that wasn't said. We can edit that, yeah. too. Well, I must, I must tell you, though, I watched you on Canada AM today, and uh, you were here today. Everybody just had a wonderful time with you. You're a charming young lady. Thank and, you uh, very much. I wish you nothing but continued success. I think Thank you're you. very grounded, which is very difficult in this business, certainly at your age. And I think you're going to go on to even greater success if you continue with that attitude. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, you're quite yeah. welcome. Good luck to you. Mandy Moore, ladies and gentlemen, right back with David Ogden Starr. Travel the road to the Junos with Open Mind and our exclusive online concert series at junos.simpatico.ca.